as you can see, we're driving the Cadillac today. We're fishing the and around here and look for a pig, do some fishing maybe, spend the day. I usually have to work today, but my boss man gave me the day off. And uh, I want to appreciate him for that. The only thing I like better than my days off are his. <laughs> so here we go. We, uh, I'm looking at fresh hog sign right now. Let's, uh, let's get on in here and get started. It's the middle of the day, but uh, shoot, we slip around out here. We might find us one out here. We might catch a fish. We're gonna shoot the boat some and we're gonna have a good time. Fresh sign over there too. Let's get after. All right, we're taking our first little break here. We're not gonna make big loops today. We're gonna make a bunch of little short ones. When I get back to the boat, I'll be gone less than a mile. Got good sign here. But I ain't seen a pig yet. Good sign, that's all you can hope for. We're gonna ease back to the boat. Maybe fish a minute or two and go check another place. Spend a day kind of leisure, have some fun. I saw, I had a deleted footage that I made last week. In this bottom, I saw hogs right here. And they smelled me before I got very close. But uh, anyway, y'all didn't get to see that because somehow I messed it up. But we got all day. Thank you, Lord. It's loud. Them, uh, I forget the name of them bugs. Starts with a C. But they making some rackets. You can hear them all over. It's just roaring in here when you get in places. So uh, we're about to suit back up and go. Well, hey, I'm going to give you a tip for you guys that are not from the south. If you notice, a lot of people, they'll sit down and take their pack off, and they lay their pack with the part against their back down on the ground. Don't do that. Lay it like that because you're going to cover your back up with chiggers if you lay that part face down and you put it on. All right, let's uh, put the camera up. We're going to sneak through this bottom right here. we got a good cane thicket right up here. We're going to sneak around the edge of it and go out, go back to the boat and uh, keep rolling. We just almost saw nature's circle of life here. There's a duck. If you listen close, you'll hear. She got a bunch of little ones with her. And a hawk was sitting right over her. They're going out in that thick stuff now. Probably can't see them, but I'll probably just save one of them's life at least for today. Looked like there was about 10 little ducks there. There's a whole passel of mudfish. You can see them working the water right there. That's little bitty mudfish. I wish I could zoom this thing. There's a big one with them. I see what I saw. Really, really good catfish bait. All right, we got to, uh, we pulled up here. We're gonna fish a few minutes, one of my little spots. And if this worm will do his job, we might catch a fish, we'll see. <laughs> That's pretty 
to them. I gotta learn how to zoom this thing. I'm using my binoculars. I just spotted two deer. They were right, right there. I, was, I got about 40 yards on them. They wasn't no use in sneaking. I can't shoot them. That's cool. These binoculars are gonna change the way I ground hunt. I love it. We are uh, out here making another loop. I fished for about 45 minutes. I caught five. No, they're not no big ones, but big enough for the pot. And so we're going to make a short loop right here. And then uh, we might go fishing again. Let's lose. Uh, I've seen some pig sign. But uh, I'm actually looping for a good wind because I know there's a lot of. Uh, I saw pigs. To my to the north of me right here the other day. Let's carry on. All right, we ain't getting no pigs, but some fellas there will work. <laughs> All right, we on our last little walk of the day. Right there. Maybe we'll find a pig on this one. Let's go see. about to run out of battery but I think we got this one we'll save the uh, save the rest of my battery until we find out the heifer is bleeding profuse I know I can't be far off of, blood, off of finding her right here <sighs> plenty plenty blood right there <laughs> she's setting up and she's dead though <laughs> let me tell you what we just did here thank you good lord praise god beautiful day on the river we just removed some skunk stripes right there <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Woo! I want to yell. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I can't show a lot of dead hog pictures over there. I take my stuff off. I think I have my camera on, so you might see the shot. I hit her back and uh, got a quarter and shot. And I see that she ran 100, she ran 50 yards, 50, 75 yards. It's a big old fine sow. There was a spotted one and a black one. They were some pigs, but the pigs were feeding and they were big enough they would make it. So I wouldn't want to shoot one of the pigs, but I definitely would shoot the mom. And there she lays. Thank you, Lord, for a fine day. Let's get this heifer in the sack and get to the river. I would show on a, I ain't got the camera. I mean the battery. I would show how to bone this junker out, but I only got 7% battery. So uh, let me get her in the sack. See y'all at the boat. This is why, what brought me to that area for them pigs there. That's a whole lot of sign. Well, I was gonna fish some more, but I'm sweated down and tired. <laughs> I had, I went a little farther than I thought, pecking that hog out, but uh, it's a blessing to be alive on the river. 
got the skunk stripes off of me. And that's probably a hundred mile hog right there because I have walked and walked and walked. And sometimes it just works out and it does, and it did. Almost got a shot, I don't think y'all could see him, but I got on a spotted boar and almost got a shot at him. Thought I heard somebody coming up behind me, but I didn't. And uh, I was looping around and I got in some awful sign and next thing you know, there's a hog. And I snuck up, shot about 10 yards and uh, that was it. My battery, I may be talking for nothing. My battery may be gone. But anyway, thank y'all for watching my videos. Y'all keep the good Lord first. And uh, feels good to get the pressure off. And I don't mean pressure of having to shoot something. It's just, doggone, I've been hunting hard. <laughs> and it's, it's time. And uh, we got one. Thank you, Lord. And uh, I want you to look what some beautiful scenery we got here, right here kill a hog or not I got about I don't know about 10 fish be enough for me and Miss Tammy and I uh, got to spend the day out here on the river so many good memories on this thing and plenty more to make I can't wait to take my hunt some of my new hunting buddies over here and ride them up down this river like brother John did with me it's all all good a beautiful place and right there's a good place to sleep right over there so uh We'll see y'all next time. Keep the good Lord first and count your blessings. They're plenty of them.